If one is paying millions of dollars for a supercar, it is fair to expect that it would be a unique looking product. Today we'll show you a subjectively compiled list of the most stunning models in the recent years. These are weirdly beautiful and have designs that you definitely have not seen before. So subscribe to Automotive Territory channel, ring the notification bell and enjoy this exotic ride. Zinger 21C Till now, the American startup Zinger is the only car manufacturer that takes full advantage of artificial intelligence and 3D printing, calling this technology the Divergent Adaptive Production System. Named after the founder Kevin Zinger, the 80 units limited edition supercar was developed under the supervision of Koenig 6 former technical director and Mitsubishi's ex-designer. Its shape was inspired by the iconic SR-71 Blackbird spy plane, so the two-passenger cabin mimics a jet seating position under a central canopy. The all-wheel drive powertrain of this hybrid supercar consists of an in-house developed 2.88-liter twin-turbo V8 that spins to 11,000 rpm. There is a 7-speed sequential transaxle gearbox and a duo of electric motors. The combined system output is 1,250 horses, and since the weight is mere 2,685 pounds, the power-to-weight ratio equals to 1 to 1. The Tommaso P72 Revealed back in 2019, this GT will be the first automobile by the Italian De Tommaso since it was acquired by the Chinese Ideal Team Ventures eight years ago. Instead of the previously announced Apollo Intense Emozioni chassis, instead the car will use a new, lighter setup with a carbon monocell, while the bunker's V8 engine will be supplied by Rausch. The latter is reported to produce over 700 horses and 608 pound-feet and it will be paired with a classic six-speed manual transmission. The design of the P72 is inspired by the iconic De Tommaso and Ford P70 race car, and its interior styling mixes lavish materials with expressive designs and unique analog gauges. This means caramel color leather, diamond pattern stitching on the seats, and lots of polished copper accents. This year, the company is reported to have joined efforts with the carbon fiber and engineering specialist Capricorn Group. Together, they've established a manufacturing facility in Nürburgring, where they will build 72 previously promised P-72s in early 2023. Apollo Automobili Project EVO Intensa Emozione has been one of the most striking supercars released in the last decade, but its successor is likely to be even more daring. The Project Evo has a bonkers X-shaped DRL signature reminiscent of the Bugatti Bolid, while its taillights have strong resemblance with the way that Archangel's wings are depicted in the video games. The new Apollo comes with a full suite of active aerodynamics, including a large deployable rear spoiler with automatic adjustability. There are no details about the Evo engines, but it is likely to get the same Ferrari-derived 6.3-liter naturally aspirated V12 developed by Autotechnica Motori and HWAAG. It is rated for 791 horsepower with a redline at 9000 rpm. All of this power will be sent to the rear wheels through a 6-speed Heeland sequential manual transmission. Pagani Waira Kota Lunga After a decade-long production, the Waira is nearing the end of its life. One of the final iterations of this Italian exotic was developed by Pagani's Grandi Complicazioni Special Projects Division and will be released in the amount of only five tailor-made units. Its design was inspired by the coach built and race cars of the 1960s that participated at the Le Mans. Kota Lunga stands for the long tail, so, besides the revised front, this newcomer has a completely reworked rear section with a titanium 4-pipes exhaust. 
The Kota Lunga moniker comes from the new 14 inches longer hatch that covers an area of 12 square feet. Beneath it hides a rear-mounted 6-liter twin-turbo V12 sourced from AMG and upgraded to deliver 840 horsepower and 811 pound-feet. The Waira Catalunga's interior will be trimmed with carbon fiber and aluminum elements, and it gets upholstered with a woven and aged suede leathers. Mansori Ferrari Roma After carrying out three extensive Ferrari modifications in 2021, Mansori turned their eyes to the Marinello's Grand Tour. With this build, the German tuner adopted a rather discreet approach, since the Roma boasts one of the most attractive designs among its rivals. These modest mods in Mansori's language mean that the car gets an exclusive hood, which can be had in a full carbon version or with a black boomerang-shaped piece inserted in the middle. Carbon detailing is also seen on the fenders, side skirts, rear wing and rear diffuser. The car rides on new forged wheels measuring 21 inches front and 22 inches in the rear. More changes are hidden under the skin, where the stock twin-turbo 3.9-liter V8 engine gets an extra herd of wild horses. By playing tricks with the engine's electronics and adding a sports exhaust system, the total output is raised to 710 horsepower and 640 pound-feet of torque. Lamborghini Countach LPI 804 This 112-unit limited edition reimagines the original 1974 Countach that was a defining sports car of its age. Here, the exterior graduates to the 21st century. The front-end design loses the pop-out headlights and acquires new LED units of similar size and shape. The car's signature scissor doors are still present, and the quattro valvole inspired hexagonal wheel arches house mismatched 20-inch front and 21-inch rear wheels and a modernized telephone dial design. The rear flaunts for exhaust pipes and triple element taillights. Mechanically, the car is closely related to the 2019 Cyan FKP37. It gets the same underpinnings with a rear mid-engine layout and a mild hybrid drivetrain, featuring supercapacitors. The latter consists of a 6.5-liter naturally aspirated V12, assisted by a 48-volt electric motor sandwiched into the 7-speed automated manual gearbox. The system produces 814 horsepower and 221 miles per hour top speed, while the supercapacitors store energy gathered through their generative braking for ultra-fast acceleration. Hispano Suiza Carmen Boulon This recently revived Spanish car brand has finally made its debut on the US soil by making a delivery to one of its customers at the Emilia Island Concur de la Gans in Florida. This purple Carmen Boulon is one of only five bespoke variants of the hypercar that will be produced in the world. The Hyperlux model is built around the carbon fiber monocoque of the standard Carmen but it will be equipped with the revised suspension components and a new carbon fiber roof. The name of the unique body color is called Ocean Song Rose. It is a purple tone inspired by the favorite flower of the American car collector and current owner of the car, Michael Fox. This Hispano Suiza is propelled by four electric motors and an 80 kWh battery that produce 1,114 horses and 1,180 pound-feet of peak output. Being 132 pounds lighter than the first Carmen, it can do 0 to 60 sprints in 2.6 seconds and reaches the maximum speed of 180 miles per hour. Smash the like button if you agree with me that these cars are stunningly beautiful. If you do not, as always, I'll be waiting for you in the comment section to hear you out. Thanks for the feedback and let's keep rolling! Bugatti Cianto Dieci All of the Bugattis since 2015 have been based on the Chiron platform, so true originality has been hard to reach. However, the Cianto Dieci that was finally delivered to its owner in summer 2022 manages to stand out in the crowd. 
This celebratory series commemorates 110th anniversary of the brand and was designed as a tribute to the people behind the original revival of the brand in the 1990s, namely the then company's chairman Romano Artioli and the designer Marcello Gandini. The Chanto Diachi is a reinterpretation of the Apical EB110 with its narrow headlights, iconic blue color, and sport silver wheels. As a Chiron derivative, it is powered by an 8-liter W16 that was boosted to 1600 horses, and as a result, the French Hyperbeast now gets to 62 and 2.4 seconds and has the top speed of 238 mph. Besides this newcomer, only 9 more Chanto Diachis will be assembled. The price is already inflated to $14 million, which makes it the second most expensive Bugatti after the one-off Lavatour Noir. Ferrari SP48 Unica the F8 Tributo was developed as a homage to the powerful V8 history of the brand and the highest expression of a classic two-seater Berlinetta design. In 2023, its look and a non-hybridized rear mid-engine placement could feel rather retro. So one of Ferrari's most avid collectors requested a one-off commission that would reimagine the model into a 296 GTB lookalike. Ferrari's special projects team introduced a hexagonal pattern that appears throughout the car. The front grille was overhauled with a new honeycomb pattern, the A-pillar was blacked out, and the side air scoop was lowered. In the back, the SP48 Unica gets a beefy diffuser and rectangular lights stretching the width of the car. As for the mechanical business, there are no reported changes. So the twin-turbo 3.9-liter V8 still makes 710 horsepower and 568 pound-feet that are sent to the rear wheels with the help of a 7-speed dual-clutch gearbox. Panopolis Chaos This company is a skilled track racing engine builder from Greece that is famous for pulling insane amounts of power even from small displacement mills. This year, they are taking on a new project developing the most powerful road legal car on the market. The Chaos will be offered in two modifications, Earth and Zero Gravity, rated for 2049 and 3065 horses respectively. Both are powered by a 4-liter 90-degree V10 that drives to 12,200 rpm maximum and can be paired with a 7 or an 8-speed dual-clutch transmission. The car is based on a monocoque chassis from a synthetic polymer called Xylan. The wheels and brakes are 3D printed from magnesium, and the bodywork is primarily made of carbon fiber or carbon Kevlar. Seven X Design Rayo. Every supercar that rolls out of the Raging Bulls facilities is close to perfection in terms of aerodynamic efficiency and drag coefficients, so there simply must be a real reason to amend the stock Lamborghini body. For example, the British coach building team from 7X Design justifies its decision by the ambition to create a hypercar able to hit 300 miles per hour. To keep the car on the road at such speeds, the 7X recreates every body panel of the car from scratch with the only front fascia, tail lights, and windows keeping the connection with its Huracan past. As a result, the stock aerodynamic performance of the vehicle gets improved from a 0.39 drag coefficient value to just a 0.279. On the drivetrain front, the Huracan's usual V10 is treated by the underground tracing. The Americans equipped the 5.2-liter engine with a pair of turbochargers and made a plethora of other surgeries to raise the maximum output to more than 1800 horsepower. If you had the funds, would you go for a weirdly looking supercar or should you get a normal looking Ferrari or McLaren? Let's talk this over in the comment section below the video. Smash the like button if you haven't already, subscribe to Automotive Territory channel and proceed to exploring other videos by following the links on the screen.
Remember to stand with Ukraine, and as always, may the torque be with you!